basically what happened was I was in my car, in my Lambo, driving, crashed into the back of a police car and they come out with guns and held me up and I was like, fair enough, I crashed, that was my fault. A little birdie called YouTube told me that you want to learn how to lucid dream. If that's true, you're going to be able to watch this video and instantly learn how you can lucid dream every single time. back to another video, I'm Maximilian, I help entrepreneurs reprogram their life, rewire their minds for happiness, success, abundance, fulfillment, confidence, you name it, I do it. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining exactly how you can instantly get into that state of lucid dreaming every single time. And what if I told you that it was actually much easier, even if you can't be bothered to do all these random techniques, this is a simple, easy, let's say lazy guide to lucid dreaming every single time. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment saying I subscribed and I will get back to as many comments as humanly possible. I'm a one man band at the moment, but I will get back to you, I promise. And make sure you wait until the end of the video so that you get the exact method in order to lucid dream every single time, every single morning, ideally, so that you remember those dreams, so that you can use those dreams, so that you can reprogram yourself every single day. So lucid dreaming is a very simple but usual phenomenon and we go into dreams majority every night. We just don't tend to remember every single dream. And the reason why I tend to remember my dreams is because I lucid dream and especially lucid dreaming in the morning because then I am literally just out of a dream so I remember more of the dream than if I had it early on in the night. And the reason we go into a lucid dream is because of sl REM sleep, rapid eye movement. That's what REM stands for. And if you ever see anyone maybe being hypnotized, um, so when I hypnotize some people, I usually get people to put their eyes up like that. And if you've got your eyes closed, my eyes are flickering. And that is what is called REM sleep. And when you drop straight into REM sleep, you are activating alpha, theta, then delta brainwave straight away when you're going into a deep sleep. So you're going from alpha, which is why you do that. You go into the alpha, go to theta, and then you go straight to delta when you do this during sleep. And when you get to that delta stage is exactly where you go straight into a dream. And the mind cannot differentiate between what is real and what is imagined when you're in that state of mind. But when you do this more and more and more and more and more often, you can begin to control your lucid dreams. And the other day I had a lucid dream, well I had them this morning, the other day, I have them pretty much every single day whenever I use this, well I have them every single time I use this method specifically, but when I use, I don't use this every day, but when I do use it, it does work every time. But there's some days I don't even use the method, but I do it by accident because I just don't, or I just go back to bed. Um, and it allows me to really get into that state which is just creative. And it shows you what's in your subconscious mind when you start dreaming about exactly those things. Whether you're overworked, whether you need to uh, some time to rest, whether you need to get rid of an old habit, whether you need to let go of a trauma, a fear, a worry, a stress. And even recently, the last few weeks, my dreams have been correlating to being overworked. So yesterday and the day before, I said to myself, how can I slow myself down? Which I did through meditation, hypnosis, and I allowed myself to do that, which made my lucid dream this morning so much more effective and so much better. And I really enjoyed it. And it was exactly what I wanted. And it was powerful. And it was, in my opinion, what's in my subconscious mind now is exactly what I wanted. So I'll explain some of my lucid dreams because I just love dreams, I think they're brilliant and I've even got some written down. I may try and read some, they may sound completely stupid, but my dreams tend to be around, for some reason, supercars. I always have supercars in my dreams, I don't know why. Um, big houses, holidays, luxury places, beaches, they're the good dreams. And then the not so good dreams is when I see a lot of things that are correlating to being overworked. And there, there's those little things, for example, seeing old, old people in your life, if you haven't seen them for a while, that correlates to being overworked. That's something that I know. I don't know everything about dreams, but I know how to lucid dream. That's the most important thing. I know how to lucid dream. Okay, so I'm gonna read out some of my dreams. Some of them are quite personal that I probably won't read out. Um, here's one, I don't even remember this one. I had to go over to the planet formed from a black hole. There was another massive planet right next to it, a purple and cool pattern. I went over, everyone was stick figures, and I had to create them a 3D world. 
I somehow created a shopping mall and a few other people. Then an evil lady came, but also an angel version of her appeared. I was helping create this world and was shouting to everyone to say thank you and to be grateful every day. <laughs> I was joking about tax and said maximum I would ever charge is 10%. Here's an interesting one. This is a dream in a dream. So kind of like Inception. If you've ever seen the movie Inception, this was the weirdest thing. Because I went, I knew I was in my dream and I went into another dream. So we were in a cornfield. Paddy McGuinness was there for some reason. Paddy McGuinness. And there was a fruit machine in the middle of the cornfield. We took turns on it to have a go. And it was a type that asked you a question and got the answer, not money. So you ask a question, press the button, and you got the answer. The first question I asked was, when will my relationship happen? They said October. I completely forgot about this dream, but that is ironic because I literally am in a relationship in October. Wow, that's crazy. The second question was to tell me something I need to know. And it said about um, my dad, the reason we cut off from him. And it used the analogy of a charger in, a ki in the kitchen. I was a USB port and I unplugged myself. Okay, I get this. So in my kitchen, we've got a, char uh, a basically a plug that plugs in to the wall, it has two USB ports and two actual plugs for a, for a normal plug socket, or a, a UK plug socket. And the reason I used this analogy was the reason we cut off from my dad. I unplugged first and I was just like the USB port. I wasn't like the main attachment, the main attraction. I was literally just the USB port. Then my mum was the full charger and when she pulled out uh, completely, that was when the complete attachment happened. But it's but in the dream, it was, vi it was a vivid vision and it said how I cut off years and years and years ago from how he used to dream me. And in the next dream, I was cycling my old BMX to Wix, but it was also a supermarket and Wix combined. Um, I saw my dad walking through, I went to get a mango, and then I woke up. <laughs> there we go. And then the recent one, the one that I had this morning was, I was in my green Lamborghini, which I always dream about a green Lamborghini. I don't know why. I know why, because it's on my vision board, so it, it proves, um, on my virtual vision board. If you are interested in a virtual vision board, click down here or send me a message and I can create you one as part of my program. But anyway, this dream, basically what happened was I was in my car, in my Lambo, driving, crashed into the back of a police car and they come out with guns and held me up and I was like, fair enough, I crashed. That was my fault. And it goes to show exactly what's in our subconscious minds. I was much more confident in a situation that would cause a lot of people and me before a lot of anxiety um it shows my mind that 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 wealth i feel like i now deserve it and i do deserve it i know i deserve it now it's just the action to take to receive it because it won't just doesn't just appear in my bank account all of a sudden um maybe an investment maybe a new like things coming in i don't know exactly what but essentially all these different things that happened allowed me to really feel and know what is in my subconscious mind and it really makes sense when you start to go into these lucid dreams, what is in your subconscious mind, because it shows you vividly. When you start writing them down, that's the best thing you can do is write them down, because then you remember all these little things. I've got pages and pages. of They were just two random ones that I completely found. I've got pages and pages and pages of different dreams that I've had from lucid dreaming, from this technique specifically. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the technique. So this is what they call the wake back to bed method. This is not my method, I found it online, I cannot remember who, but ever since I watched the video, I used it that night and I was so excited. I used it that night, it happened straight away, first time, first time. And for me, the reason this works, and now I understand why it works, is because we go straight back to the REM, uh, the rapid eye movement sleep, which creates a dream, it just goes straight to a dream. First things first, you need to set an alarm one hour earlier than you would usually wake up in the mornings. If you wake up at seven, set it at six. If you wake up at six, set it at five. If you wake up at eight, set it at seven. Or even maybe two hours earlier. The earlier, the better, because you, you wanna make sure you're going back into it. Um, but I tend to do it between an hour and two hours. So any time between there is gonna be ideal for you, um, depending on how easy you can go straight back to sleep. The second step is make sure that you are not consuming the blue light. So from a phone, for example. So if you set your phone alarm, this is how I did this. 
I set my phone alarm and I knew where it was. I had my phone face down and I didn't want to get as much, as little light as possible. So when I woke up, I sort of remembered and I was tapping the screen and I just turned it straight back over and went straight back to bed. So you may have a struggle with this the first few times of actually remembering this rather than just picking it up, looking at it and turn it off. It's not essential. It just makes it easier for you to go back to bed because your melatonin production is still up and your serotonin production is still um, lower because you're during your sleep. So as soon as you start to see that blue light, you see a lot of light, your serotonin will begin to produce more and you'll reduce your melatonin, which is the sleep hormone. And that is exactly how simple it is. Because as soon as you turn that phone alarm off and you drop straight back into a sleep, so set your second alarm for the normal time you will wake up. But as soon as you drop straight back into that sleep, you go into REM sleep which creates rapid eye movement, REM sleep, and this allows you to go straight back into a dream. And then it's showing you what's in your subconscious. This is showing you how you can, or what is playing out in your subconscious so that you can understand what is it that I'm struggling with? What is it that's going on that needs to be addressed? Because our subconscious mind is so incredibly intelligent to say, I feel overworked, therefore I'm gonna create dreams in here so that you, you research it to find out what that means. And when I figured that out, I was like, that makes sense. So now I need to slow back down. I haven't been meditating as much. I used to meditate three times a day. Now I'm meditating twice a day for not as long. So I said to myself, okay, so I need to give myself more time. I need to stop um, reading on my computer too late. I need to cut off. And last night, that's exactly what I did, which made me get better sleep which allowed me to go into my um, wake back to bed method in the morning, um, which allowed me to have a lucid dream straight away. Use this method, let me know your results down below and let me know your dreams. I would genuinely, genuinely be intrigued to hear the dreams that you guys are having um, and what success you're getting with this method. Very simple, very easy method, but use it and understand what's in your subconscious mind and then if you want to, some help reprogramming your subconscious mind, visit my website, maxindle.com, or send me a message on Instagram, um, link all, all down here as well. Send me a message, and all you have to do is just allow yourself to use this method to help me help you reprogram your subconscious mind so that you can get the best results that you possibly want in your life. And please feel free to share this video with absolutely anyone, at least one person, because you'll be helping them, helping you as well. And long term, you'll be helping this movement that I'm creating of happy and fulfilled people, those millions and millions of people. You are part of that. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. I hope you keep spreading love. I hope you keep spreading kindness and so much positivity. And don't forget to check out my free course on maxhindle.com. Head over to my website now, scroll down, click get the free course, log in and sign up. Go over to the course, get your ebooks for the PDFs. This is the Enneagram assessment. This will help you understand who you are. This will help you understand your personality so that you can live your most fulfilled life. The workbook, 136 pages of the workbook, allowing you to align your mind, balance your body and hold your soul. Going through that, getting all the information, making it a practical guide to your daily life work as you can see there's a lot of information and i've put all this together completely free for you and finally the free vegan recipes these are amazing these are tasty also there's a little treat at the end a bit of chocolate and then a 36 part video series to accompany it all allowing you to get the most out of your experience with me so what are you waiting for head over to maxhindle.com and get your free course today